First Coast News Stories of Service, sponsored by Duval Motor Company. In today's Stories of Service, I have an update on how the daughter of a fallen hero is carrying on his legacy. This is Abby Chalfont. She graduated from the University of Florida in December with a 3.8 GPA. She currently works at a school for students with special needs in Jacksonville and volunteers at an equine therapy center that serves children with disabilities. On the right is Abby as a baby. That's her father holding her. Navy Lieutenant Commander Michael D. Chalfont died on September 10th of 2002 when the Navy jet he was in crashed off the coast of Puerto Rico while preparing for a deployment in support of the global war on terrorism. Abby was just shy of her third birthday. I spoke with her in April about her father. He was the most loving and devoted dad and husband. He was the funniest prankster. He was the biggest animal person and a huge book nerd. He was just the most amazing man. Just a few weeks ago, Abby and 11 other Gold Star children went to Washington, D.C. with the Global War on Terrorism Memorial Foundation to have a voice in the memorial that will honor their fathers and mothers killed in the line of duty. I spoke with her when she got back to Jacksonville. We got to look at all the possible locations that the memorial will be built, and they asked us for our input, so that was a really special opportunity. The Global War on Terrorism Memorial Foundation was formed in 2015. The memorial will honor those who served and sacrificed as part of global counterterrorism operations since September 11th. It will be entirely funded by donations. Abby says she enjoyed being around others who understood her story. To be able to share my dad's story with them and learn about their parents was a really special opportunity and we really bonded with one another and found a way to heal through sharing our stories. To learn more about the memorial, you can open up this story in the First Coast News app or on our website, firstcoastnews.com. And remember, if you have a story of service to share, just email us at storiesofservice at firstcoastnews.com. Once again, that's storiesofservice at firstcoastnews.com. I'm Anthony Austin.